method some people use, I haven't used this myself, is to put a toothpick on each side because some species of cutworms actually wrap their bodies around the plant to eat it. This would prevent a cutworm from wrapping its body around the plant, but some species actually cut the plant off at the base and some grow up the plant. So that's why I like to make the collars for the plants. I just feel like it works best for the kind that I have. Another method to get rid of them, especially you have quite a few, when it's time to water your plants, if you just absolutely soak the soil around your plants, like soak the soil, sometimes they will come up to the surface because you're drowning them basically.